Hi everyone, I'm John on Twitch today and it's rainy so I don't have sunlight, only the overhead uh, light. I hope it will be okay. I want to start the page with this uh, pages I took from an old book and I'm going to punch them with this punch. It's a three inch leaf punch and you don't have to have this uh, <laughs> this kind of punch. I will uh, explain in a minute what I'm uh, trying to do. I've put three pages because they are very uh, uh, thin uh, pages so if I put only one it will get stuck and pulled in the punch and now it's giving me trouble <laughs> of course because I'm filming so I've uh, made some uh, I had some project that I wanted leaves and I've punched book pages and I was left of course with this and I figured I can do something interesting with it to for an art journal page so I'm just gonna punch again so now I will have I've put three pages in so I will have six leaves and oh now it's just getting on my nerves <laughs> okay so let's see I've got this that I want to play with and first I just want to cut a uh, between in between the two leaves let's see Let's hope I'm straight here. It doesn't have to be a very a measured or anything, but just so I will have something to play with. So I have the, the leaves and I have this. And I thought about just playing with the placement and using my a uh, craft paper background to my advantage leaving it as is not always it doesn't always needs to be covered in paint or whatever something like that i think so it would be interesting maybe even something like that and i will trim the access and yeah so that's the beginning of my page. I'm moving the leaves uh, aside and this also. And I'll just uh, start uh, gluing. Now, uh, the paper is very, uh, I don't know, old and dry and brittle. So I really need to be careful with it. And let's see. I think I'll start at the top. I have this um, adhesive pen, it's from Zig, Let, maybe this will help, although it's, it, it has a really thin, oh, I've got another one that I think is a larger, also by Zig. I've bought it and thought that maybe it will help with things like that, that I want, I don't want that the even um no it doesn't never mind nothing <laughs> goes <laughs> like i'm planning not that there is a uh, too much planning but okay i will use a glue stick but i will need to be very very careful because as i said it's brittle it's good to use a old book pages but uh, as you can see if they are too old and too brown they are just brittle and they, they break apart let's move this and i'm changing uh, the placement a little bit 
I think I will take it up to here. And let's see if I can <laughs> put back this, yeah. Good enough. So, and I moved. What's going on today? Okay, so next, uh, I think I'm going to trim it so it will be a more square than a <laughs> I just lost the word. Okay. So I'm really trying to be careful here. And here it goes again. Okay, so I'm going to glue the other ones uh, in place and I'll be back. Okay, so I've got five here. I've got another one here. I'm not, uh, I don't want to put it here. I don't want symmetry. I don't want even numbers. So right now it's going to be like this. I'm maybe uh, later I will uh, add it. I don't know. So that's what I have, I have for right now. Now, if you don't have a leaf punch, you can use whatever punch you have, or you can take a, any kind of a book paper, or if you don't want book paper, you can use a music sheet or anything that will, already has some a, something on it just for the added interest. And you can, of course, cut whatever shape you want you can do hearts you can do circles you can even do uh, something on <laughs> undefined just play with the shapes that and on your page it really doesn't matter and as long as you have fun and you like it so that's what you do if you don't have a punch now I want some elements to decorate my page and to go with this. I will probably uh, use the leaves all here. Maybe this will be, this will be interesting. It's like they, they flew out of the... Yeah, maybe. Okay, so I think I will use at least three. I'm uh, going to take, this is Distress Ink Vintage Photo. It doesn't have to be Vintage Photo. If you prefer other color, you can go for it. If you don't have any of those, of these Distress Inks, uh, you can use uh, eyeshadows, especially the ones that has have like um, glitter in it, like mica powder. So I'm taking a soft brush and just going around the leaves. I need to give them more a uh, definition. This is easier than taking a makeup sponge because it has uh, many details and it's again brittle and difficult to go in in all kinds of places narrow places it's difficult so that's how I go about it and of course if I want I can go in and as much as I want something like that so I'm going to do the same thing for these two leaves and I still want a uh, other elements to go with this page I'm moving this aside I've picked uh, some uh, 
stamps in advance and I've already stamped them on this uh, this is uh, <coughs> sketchbook paper it really doesn't matter I only uh, took it because it's not completely white like a printer paper and that's the only reason you can do it on any whatever you want and let me just show you like this is completely white and that's the color of this uh, sketchbook paper so I wanted something softer and not start white like this so uh, just stamping I've used a uh, archival ink this is permanent uh, ink and nothing to it just took it stamped several because even if I don't use the, use it in here I will use it in some other project and again I'm taking this and going around my elements. You can be very subtle, you can be less, it depends what you want. You can go in, you can only stay uh, to the edges. It really is up to you. And as I said, it's just easier doing it like this. For me at least, if you want to uh, fussy cut it and go with a makeup sponge, up to you. For me, from experience, when I have things like that and lots of uh, going in, it's just easier to go around like this and then fussy cut the image. So. Of course, I've already have some to play with. Here it is. You certainly don't need to, to watch me fussy cut all these shapes. So I've got some to play with and we'll see what goes on and where on the page. So I'm moving all of this aside. <laughs> And let's go back. Here it is. Now it's just playing with the placement. Having fun with the elements you have. I also uh, stamped this uh, Be Strong, Be Beautiful, Be Fearless. Just it was with the one of the stamps in a set and it just seemed to me that it's appropriate maybe here let's see what else we've got it's not planned it just I don't care uh, to just make elements embellishments if you want to call it like that uh, because I know that if I won't use it here I will use it uh, later in some something else so win-win So as you can see I'm just playing around with what I've got. I think that I will add to each piece uh, the same thing I've done with the make makeup brush and the ink pad which now I don't see where I've put it. <laughs> Here it is okay so I'm thinking just going over each square or rectangle whatever I didn't <laughs> I didn't measure so it's probably not really a square so basically this is it me playing with it, <laughs> all these pieces until I will 
be satisfied with what I've got. I'm not sure I'm using, I will use this. It's a lot of black when everything else is uh, more subtle. So it's a little bit out of, it just doesn't go with the rest of the stuff I have got here. I can also take another uh, ink pad, a darker uh, brown, and do some shadowing. Not sure yet. As I said, this part is so not planned. It's just playing around with the elements until you like what you see. Now, if you don't like doing brown or <laughs> craft paper or monochromatic uh, pages, you can do it uh, in color and have fun with whatever paper you've got. Don't like book pages? Take any kind of uh, paper you like to play with and work with it if it's painting paper scrapbook paper jelly prints whatever you've got I'm taking a, a darker color from a distress ink this is ground espresso and I think I'll just go inside and make it darker don't know how much of it you can see, but sometimes, even when it's subtle, when you look at the overall picture, it does matter. Yeah, at least for now, unless I will feel that it needs just a little bit more in other places maybe I will go around all the page I don't know as I said just going with the flow and deciding as it uh, as it develops so let's move this and Let's see. Yeah. Definitely this. And this one. Butterflies. I think I've got another. I'm kind of going with the movement I created here on the page. Don't know if it... No, don't know about it. And before I forget, do I want it? Or is it going for another project? <laughs> I don't know. Let me take a step back. St sometimes that's what you need to do to figure out if something works or not. Okay, I'm going to play with uh, the elements here and I'll come back. I'm back. So, everything is adhered except for this leaf. It doesn't go with the rest of the elements. And I really wanted it to go here and I tried to figure out how to make it work and I figured that all my elements have lots of uh, black lines inside so I remembered I had this uh, silicone uh, trivet that I'm always using as a stamp so I figured this will be nice lines 
to put uh, on my leaf. I'm using Momento Tuxedo Black, also a permanent ink. Trying to be very gentle. Let's see. You can't see much of it. Let, I've got some permanent marker. Let's do it like this and let's hope this will work just so it will work with all the other elements. It doesn't have to be accurate, it doesn't have to be exactly like any a real leaf, it just needs to work on the page. Should have gone with <laughs> with uh, hand drawn uh, from the beginning and not uh, try to be clever about it with the trivet. Never mind. I tried. Just adding lines where I think they are needed. A little bit to the edges. As I said, I'm more trying to make it look like the other uh, elements here. better never mind i'm just going to be brave about it and glue it in and that's it <laughs> not going to look for anything else okay and 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 i need something like i don't know like gold splatter let's see yeah i think that's what i'm going to do and let's see let's see let's see, let's see what i've got really not planned <laughs> not this part Let's just put this and I think I just a little bit gold here. Uh, I've picked this as a spray, but it's supposed to be for textile. But I use it wherever I want. <laughs> it was handy, it's gold, I don't care okay so i've got this now i need a fan brush and just maybe a little bit water on it You can probably hear uh, one of my sons in the background. They are learning from home because of the lockdown. Okay. Yeah. Now I'm satisfied. All the other elements are going into something else. And that's my page. <laughs> Let's see. I'm going to bring it closer just so you will see what's going on here with the light it, that I have overhead and not that great. 
so this is it i hope you like it i hope you'll try doing something like that and use whatever background you have it doesn't always have to be covered and just have fun with the elements on your page so thank you for watching and thank you for leaving me comments below i'll be seeing you in my next video bye for now